I talk with uh, some remaining friends and candidates in the UCP and uh, I'll tell you this, like we, we supported bringing the parties together because we thought we were going to get the most, best of both worlds. We thought we were getting Wild Rose, I'll call it financial responsibility and transparency married with uh, PC competence and progressive social values. But it, instead, we got the worst, uh, the, the big spending and the corruption of the PCs combined with some really, really extreme views of the Wild Rose. So Smith, Take Back Alberta, and others are actively changing the definition of what it means to be a conservative in this province. Take, for example, the arena deal and the uh, reward the polluter, our star uh, oil well cleanup program. Like con conservatives, we, we used to be free market, but now it's a mainstream conservative idea. The billionaires are owed taxpayer money to rocket their record profits to the moon. I think what Jeremy is saying is what a lot of conservatives are thinking. You know, this brand of conservatism that we're seeing, not just here, but also among the in the GOP in the U.S., is the strangest thing. If you ask anyone on the street, 97% of people will say to you, I'm fiscally conservative and socially progressive. And what we have is a party that is the opposite, fiscally wanton throwing money at everything, and socially regressive. And for conservatives out there who think I'm picking on Danielle for being somehow too conservative, please listen. The, these are not conservative values. They are something else entirely. And if Rachel Notley was out there calling you a Nazi or disrespecting our veterans by boycotting the poppy like Danielle Smith did, you would say that Notley should be disqualified from being premier. And you would be right.